All right, two worlds are now unlocked. Anyway, uh, before we do that, let's jump in and switch the wisp mechanic to the actual button. It bugs me every time it the game just freezes it when I do this because I really it just it just just throws me off. I really think the game's gonna crash if I keep doing that. There we go. I don't think I'm gonna worry too much about the customizations, like custom cu customizations, right now. Cause there's just not that much for me to unlock. I can buy at the store or Sonic. Oh, yeah. I'm just gonna play the game and leave the customizations and cus leave the you know the customization to whenever I do beat the game. Which is most likely going to be in this one night, because the game is still just as long as it was in the original game. So, yeah, let's just go. Alright, Sweet Mountain Zone! World number two, Act One. I just gotta say, they did not do a good job with the remixes for, this, for some of these worlds. Because when I just listen to the Sweet Mountain remix for this game, it's just... It's just not as good as it was in the original. I mean, the original had some good vibe, like actual jazz like kind of music. But, like the saxophone and everything, and here it's just like, what? Also, there's a way for me to get that. I just need to figure out how. Yeah, there we go. Alright. Nice. Alright, hold up. Come down here, and you'll find this. Yeah, so Sweet Mountain Zone. A planet that's just full of nothing but sweets, and for some reason, burgers. Yeah, there's a burger here. There's like a little burger mountain. Ironics is called Sweet Mountain. There's nothing sweet about a burger. I mean, it would be sweet to have a burger. Man, these platforms are slow. Alright. Alright, so this is our second Wisp. Third, if you play, if we're playing, you know, since we're playing the Ultimate Remake. Yeah, this is the Drill Wisp. With this power up, Sonic can drill underground, or in this case, under the cake. Under cake. <laughs> Yeah, and, and simply by pass, uh, pressing the boost button, you can go, you can drill even faster. But it's very important that you don't, you know, still be underground once the power, once the power up wears off. Because if you do, uh, Sonic will die. Because, like it or not, the ground under here is very, uh, you know, dense and tough. So if you fall, if you get, so you can get crossed under here if you stay under here too long. Yeah. Right now, I'm just going around from, you know, spot hole to hole to see if I can find, you know, any star rings, red rings. There we go. See, I knew there was one here. Nope. See, I kind of like these little bits here. That, see, that's clever. I've uh, set pieces here. Giving me, like, you know, like me just pressing the button and the back and the enemies in the background just fall straight to the. <laughs> it's right onto the spikes down below. Yeah, that's that's clever set pieces here. I just wish, uh, you know, forces did more. Again, forces did more of that. All right, and that's oh, I'm about to say that's the end, but no, <laughs> we still got a, a bunch more to do here. Also, <laughs> this game, this stage has these giant rockets called candy newts that <laughs> <they> can <laughs> that are very, you know, big and 
<laughs> well, you know what I mean. There are nukes. If you hit them, it's gonna hurt. It's gonna be very hard for you to like, you know, get your rings back because you know they'll just blow all over the place. You know what I mean. I gotta go over there just yet, because there's a red star ring right here. That's number four. Oh! Jump! Alright. Oh god. That switch just released some Eggman robots. And Alright, just be careful of the of the rocket. Alright, there's the last red star ring, if I can just get that. Nope. <laughs> the complete set. <laughs> Indeed, the complete set <laughs> of me getting my ass kicked. <laughs> In this case, ass candy nuked. Gonna, you know what? I should have said that. That was, it was bad to begin with. I don't know why, by the way, even finishing that joke. Oh, give me the park target, thank you. Oh, I can't get anything else. I, I also remember, like, along with the release of this game, they also they also gave us like a cartoon, a little two episode cartoon, a little two parter that revolves around Sonic's adventure in specifically Sweet Mountain Zone as he's you know freeing the Wisp and stopping Doc Eggman's plans. I kind of liked it. It was actually kind of good. I just wish that like. I just like w wish like for like one day in the future can we get like an actual like full season cartoon of just that because the animation in those cartoons were just they were bangers each one of those episodes were just bangers like, I, I really liked it like in all in all in all fairness it's like the best thing Sega like Sonic Team has gave has gave us for Sonic in the recent days. Alright. Jeez, I can never get a hang I can never get a hang of the drift. This is so weird. What do you mean licking the rides? If you have rides that are made out of freaking peppermint candy, then I mean, you know I'm gonna lick it. Freaking candy cane. Grind around, you know, I'm gonna try to eat that. It's tasty. Also, this is the burger mountain I'm talking about. Like, last time I checked, burgers aren't a sweet, so <laughs> it's kind of odd that it's here. But then again, like, half of it's a burger and then the other side. Oh, wait, I'm trying to look at it. No, it's a burger that's encased inside of a cake mountain. Alright, that's clever, but. Why is there a burger here in a place called Sweet Mountain, in a world that's made up of nothing but sweets? Last time I checked, burgers are not a sweet. Like, they just put one random food because they were out of choices. Like, alright, what else can we put in here besides sweet? That, you know, that would be considered a sweet. Oh, uh, oh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, uh, burgers. Just giant cheeseburgers with lettuce and ketchup everywhere. Just make a big mountain out, out of it in case it's like hidden inside like a, a cake. Yes, yes, yes. We'll, we'll, go, we'll go with that. That works. That works. Yes. Go with that. Go with that. Look, a pulley just dropped down. Ow. Oh, what the fuck? Or should I say fudge? They did me dirt with that one. to act three 
I believe. God, it's just so irritating to see that animation every time I finish a level. Like, why? <laughs> why, Sega? Why did you let this happen? You better get to fixing it soon. Like, I just can't stop. Look, I just can't stop losing my shit every time I see that animation. Alright, new Wisp. This is the orange rocket. What this Wisp does is, Tails. There you have it. So, just by pressing the Wisp button, you can soar up into the air at blinding speeds and at incredible heights. Just like that. Yeah, it's very, it's very good for, you know, reaching very high places and getting, like, hidden goodies, such as, like, you know, more power-ups, or maybe a red star ring, if I'm lucky enough. If I knew what the darn thing was. Hold up. Is that? No, I thought so. <gasps> red star ring! Yes, got it. Oh, that was the first one. Okay, nice. Also, I'm glad they fixed the explosions for the candy nukes. Cause I, I'm, I again, I when I was playtesting this and I played in a play pre-patch, they didn't encode the explosion they would make after you know hitting the ground or hitting somebody. It would just like blow up and just nothing would happen. And wow, I ended up turning around. <laughs> Oh god, oh! <laughs> I got so scared from that nuke. Hold up, there's something here. I know there's something here. Really? Like, why would they have this zip line here? So that's like, like what, like four of the power ups in lockdown? Laser, rocket, drill, and ghost. Which I've yet to use ghost. Alright, any time now, game. <laughs> Jeez. Alright, Act 4. I think I remember this one. This is an opportunity to get to use the Ghost Wisp, I believe. Alright, so the gimmick of this act is, see, you know, you have to switch to move these giant uh, heaters so they don't burn you and can, you know, proceed throughout the stage. Yeah. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Shouldn't have done that. Okay. 
did not know how I timed that, but I did. What up? Wait, what? <laughs> What's the point of me coming? Oh no, I was supposed to. Oh, okay, I was supposed to use it. Damn it. Well, I guess I'm back here again. Or, right, you know, let's restart. <laughs> yeah, let's try this again. Okay. Nice. Also like these achievements I'm getting. <laughs> like just just killing stuff gets me an achievement. This is a pretty much a good uh, waiting one of those like fishing that just really pans out the game. Oh, Red Star, Red Star Ring, Red Star Ring, give me it! Give me it! There we go. Oh, yeah, this is the ghost. Yeah, so with this ability, you can phase through like the walls and ceilings and access hidden pathways that you can really access before in the original game. Which I'm glad they did. Which I'm really cool. Which really I find great that they added. I never would have guessed this, that it'd be here. Give me the rings. Yes. Out of time, I always miss the zero. I'm a hero, I'm supposed to be the hero who gets the zeros. Yeah, that was just bad. <laughs> I don't know what I'm thinking with that line. I just thought it'd be funny. Hmm. I'm just looking at the red rain count. All right, act five. All right, let's do this. Let's go. Oh, hold up. Wow. <laughs> I almost missed that. Uh, I do, I do think they could have fixed the quick stepping in this game a bit better. Like, maybe change the control scheme on that a bit more. Because it's mapped to the same uh, button as the control stick. So there would be times where I'm like slowing down on accident because I have to flick in left and right. And the control stick for it to work. Yeah, I feel like they could have like at least allowed me to customize that ability. Like maybe switch it to like left and right bumpers. Oh! God. All right, I, can, I think I can get that. Yeah. Yeah, they expect you to have a certain list at this part, but you know we haven't unlocked it yet, so we're just gonna have to do it the old-fashioned way. Did they even go that. Oh God. Tails. <laughs> Save me! <laughs> Alright, I didn't mean to come down here, but I'm glad I did, so I can get that. Alright. Nice. 
Ah, oh, fudge. Oh, come on. I, I always hate this art. Because the way they have you try to do this, it's weird. Like, sometimes I can boost into it, and sometimes I cannot. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm about to say, don't you dare fuck with me right now. Yeah, they expect you to have a certain wisp for, uh, for this bar so I can get that uh, star ring. See what I mean? Nice. No! <laughs> it's always the zero. It doesn't make me a hero. Alright. Oh, no, not that way. This way. Okay, so we almost we almost made the threshold for a certain event that happens when you collect a certain amount of red star rings. I just need three more of those red star rings, and then I can unlock the special event. Okay, I believe there's one here I can get. Oh fuck! I fucked it up. Let's hit him one underneath the ground there. I just need to get it. Yeah, so let's kill that guy first. Oh, why would they have that there? Damn it! It's like underneath the ground there, and they just bait you with that last one right there. Oh, don't tell me I can- okay, let's see. Don't tell me I can- I can't get through. Alright. Wait. Is this an invisible wall? This is an invisible- what the heck? Okay. Oh, okay! There's the red star ring. Oh, I wanted that park token. All right, this part I can do. Yeah, easy red star ring. All right, I just need like one more. Uh, you know, <laughs> I'm really trying to get this tails uh, safe. Nope. Okay, not worth it. Yeah, I wish I had the wisp needed to get that one. I just need one more red star ray! Oh, this part. Alright. I should be able to get that one. 
Yes! <laughs> nice! Clutch! Clutch! No! Wall jump! No! Don't ever do that to me again! Alright, there's something here. I know it's like a little... Yeah. Yeah, I thought so. Okay. Yeah, I can hear the gold ring. And a red star ring too? Alright. Nice! Alright, now that I have 15 red star rings, I can be able to play that extra event that happens every time you reach that threshold. Yes! Yes! Yes. So, if you're able to collect at least 15 red star rings in each world, you get a chance to race against Metal Sonic in a rival rush mode. And if you're able to complete this, then you can get like a ton of park tokens. So before we go to the boss, let's try this. Let's try this out. All right, it's time to race. Let's go, Metal Sonic. Oh wait, <laughs> if I actually pressed the option to do it, that would work. <laughs> I just jumped in the stage without even, you know, paying attention. You gotta press triangle. All right, now let's get into this. All right. I like how they have the counting down music from Sonic Riders to start off. Like the counting off sound effect. Man, this dude's fast. He don't play. Metal Sonic don't play in this rival rush mode. He don't play. Yeah, he's here race, bro. I can't take no shortcuts. The sucks is too that he can fly. <laughs> nope. I just gotta keep moving forward. Without the canyon nukes getting in my way. Come on. Oh. Yeah, he has a big lead on me. Oh, come on. No. I am not about to get screwed right now because of a freaking homing attack. Don't want to come out. Damn, he has a huge lead. How big is his lead? Oh, I almost went off the stage. Uh, I'm about to seriously <laughs> restart. Uh, crap. How is this even fair at this, in this stage? Yeah, there's so much, there's so many points where I have to stop and then, you know, go. And he can just fly over everything like a freaking rival rush he is. See, he's already there. Freaking. I'm stupid. That's what I get. <laughs> oh my god. This is actually like this is actually like, a challenge. That's what I like about this. this is, he actually gives you like a they actually have the AI giving you like a decent like, actual challenge.
God damn, he's oh my! See, I can't even do that. I can't phase through the nuke and just go. No, that's not fair, Metal Sonic. Oh my God, I hate this. <laughs> uh, why is the AI so busted like this? Oh my, who puts it right there? Come on, come on, come on, Sonic. I don't want to lose to Metal, aw. Oh, yeah, that's gonna cost me. Cause he don't slow down for nobody. Stay on target. Easier said than done, game! Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, we try one more time. I'm gonna try this one. I'm gonna get this. I'm gonna beat him. I'm beating Metal Sonic today. Well, tonight. <laughs> you know, I'll bet I'll do stupid shit like that. Oh, come on! Damn it! Oh, it's so infuriating! <laughs> it's amazing how they make this a challenge for you. Can't seem to go fast enough to catch Metal Sonic! Oh, mother f Yeah, I lost. Yeah. Yeah, I lost. Damn, bro. <laughs> oh my god, that is hard. I'm gonna get him. Bro. Oh, I didn't mean to retract. Well, might as well. Because I'm just here. <laughs> I'm just so determined to beat this. <laughs> Damn. And how is he moving so much faster than me? That's not fair. And then he does that. What the hell? Oh, I'm so done. Yeah, I'm done. <laughs> oh my god. I'm gonna I'm gonna get him, watch. One day, bro. One <laughs> I'm gonna i I'm gonna beat him. Jeez, that was hard. Experience has taught me to investigate anything that glows. Experience has also taught me that the best way to solve problems is to kick robot butt. Visitors are cautioned to avoid feeding, petting, or saving any aliens. Uh, excuse me, giant killer robot? You want to do this the hard way? Or the easy way. Somehow I knew you'd say that. Let's dance.
Alright, here we go with the boss of Sweet Mountain Zone. Yeah, I do not know the names of these bosses. Don't even bother asking me. If you want to know, look in the description below. You know, if you're watching this on YouTube. Alright, so the objective of this boss is to, you know, bring the cannon down to the ground on the first phase. Then once you're out of that first phase, that's when the captain, captain of the ship pops out. And once he does, that's your chance to strike. Yeah. See, there he is. only just starting now that he's shown himself. Don't let him pressure you. Stay cool, then attack. Alright, I'm just trying to get some rings. Not really feeling pressured here. Nice. Yeah, you can either boost into him, hit him with a homing attack, or you know, hit him with the drill with the drill wisp, which is the focus of this boss. Is to use the drill, you know, and get double the damage. Right now, we haven't got any drill wisp. Nope, not a single drill wisp. What's up with that? I'm just trying to figure out where he's gonna land. Oh god. Nice. Uh, yeah, you just gotta time your attacks just right. Especially with the boost. Oh, come on. Nice. Alright, I think that got him. Yep. Give me all these rings if I can just turn around. I only takes forever to turn around. At least after boosting. That's what messed me up a couple of times there. So just trying to turn around. It takes so fucking long just to do that. But yeah, Sweet Mountain's done. That's good. Hey Tails, you missed the BBBE. Huh? Best boss beating ever. So, is Yakker giving you any more information or limericks or whatever it is he's spouting? Well, first, remember this translation stuff isn't a hundred percent. Trust me, I remember. So anyway. These aliens are made up of a really powerful energy source called hypergoons. It's inside of them. Like a battery? No. Well, sort of. It's their life source. And you only got a taste of it. Look at what happened. Battery is sort of an understatement. The funny thing, it was first translating as horrible body odor. <laughs> anyway, it seems an evil man. And you might know him, who they call Baldy Nose Hair. <laughs> Baldy Nose Hair. Oh my god, I remember that being the highlight of this game's story. <laughs> Just the down. nickname they came up with Eggman. I know. Baldy no down. Baldy McNose Hair. Draining them of their power. All their power. And using it for an evil aquatic mammal? An evil dolphin? Oh my god, Tails! <laughs> That's good intel. Keep working on it. Hey, where are you going? To find Baldy McNose Hair, of course. Nope. <laughs> I'm totally calling him McNose Hair. Facts. 